Okay, we're going to take a look today at separable prefix verbs in German. As usual, we will take a look at a English example first to sort of develop a background knowledge of the topic. Then we're going to transition over into an examination of separable prefix verbs in German. We're going to look first at a regular verb in German, and then we're going to look, in, look and see how the separable prefix changes the meaning of the verb. So um, then we'll finally conclude our examination of separable prefixes with three rules that you need to know when dealing with separable prefixes. So first, uh, let's look at this English sentence. I'm filling the box in. Now, I chose this sentence specifically because of the preposition at the end of the sentence, in. We could simply say, I'm filling the box. Um, however, in English, we sometimes add extra information in, tr in, f in, in the form of prepositions at the end of the sentence. I'm filling the box in. I'm calling my friend up. So I chose this as an example because, in a way, this is exactly what uh, German separable prefixes do. Normally, these separable prefixes are a preposition, but they could also be other things as well. So for instance, let's take a look at the next example. Uh, the verb without a separable prefix, er schläft, or he is sleeping. Now, this just simply indicates that this person is sleeping. Doesn't say where, doesn't say uh, how, or, or anything like that. Very simple, basic sentence. However, when we add a separable prefix to this sentence, it changes the meaning of the verb. Now, if we add it, uh, the separable prefix ein at the end of the sentence, er schläft ein. Uh, he is sleeping, er schläft, we add the ein there, we change the meaning to he is falling asleep. Um, so he's, not, he's no longer asleep, but he is in the act of falling asleep. So the separable prefix here actually changes the meaning of the verb, er schläft ein. Now, what we need to know with separable prefix, there are essentially three fundamental rules. The first one is the separable prefix is always stressed. In fact, this is how a trained ear uh, in German can tell if a, if a prefix is separable or not. Um, anrufen, mitkommen. Uh, there is a, when I'm repeating the infinitive, there is always the, in, the stress is, is always on the separable prefix. Uh, now, once we've determined that a verb has a separable prefix, it's always important that when it's not in its infinitive form, when you use it in a sentence, uh, that the separable prefix always comes at the end of the sentence. This brings us back to the example that we had at the beginning of this, uh, this lesson of the English example, I'm um, filling the box in. German, every separable prefix comes at the end. Ich rufe meine Freund, meinen Freund an. Now, the third rule for separable prefixes is that the verb root shows the same stem vowel change. So let's return to the example, uh, the prior example of schlafen, to sleep. Um, I could simply say, er schläft im Bett, he is sleeping in the bed. Um, if I want to change the meaning of that, saying he's falling asleep in the bed, of course I add the I add the separable prefix ein, er schläft im Bett ein, but you'll notice that the verb root has exactly the same vowel mutation. Ich schlafe, du schläfst, er schläft. So an A goes to an A umlaut. So just because a verb has a separable prefix doesn't change the quality of the way that verb, or the manner in which that verb is uh, conjugated. So, separable prefixes.